trust me, I am, I am over Patrick. All I wanted and all, and all I still want is to leave my mistakes in the past and to just reclaim my life. You know, I'm actually not surprised that Detective Domestico did not follow proper procedure. He hasn't been exactly subtle about his animosity towards Sonny. I actually feel a little sorry for Ronnie. I mean, it can't be easy being assigned to Sonny. You're going down roads that you thought you'd never travel. Indeed. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you and Detective Domestico are not the first. Diane, you're supposed to be on my side. I know. I am unbelievably fortunate that Sonny's charm has always escaped me. I'm his defense attorney, so I have absolutely no conflict. I'm paid to defend Sonny, to protect him, and that's what I do. Quite well, she grudgingly admitted. I appreciate that. And Claire, you were a most worthy opponent. You know what, I hate to interrupt this uh, you know, lawyerly bonding. What happens next? Is he free to go? I'll have to check the paperwork, but we'll see. What'd I tell you, Diane? Claire is not a threat. Forget you for one moment. Do you have any idea what just happened? The magnitude of the sacrifice that that woman has just made. Claire Walsh has basically tanked her career for you. Now, are you gonna step up and make your relationship worth that loss? I have made my share of public mistakes. And how does that feel? How does it feel? Honestly, it's mortifying having your private matters put out there for the whole world to pick at and judge. So I do have an element of empathy for you, but I don't know you or what you're capable of. And it's not so with Robin. All right, well, ask around the hospital. Educate yourself on how Robin attacked me and made baseless accusations about everything from me boiling Emma's toys to tampering with Robin's patients, and not one of those accusations have been proven. Well, I do know that Robin is a well-respected, well-loved member of this community who's been showing us what she's made of for years, so she deserves the benefit of the doubt she's been given so far. Mm -hmm. Well, that is exactly what I'm up against, because she's created this shiny, solid image, and no one can see underneath it. I am not lying, Nicholas. I did not set that fire or do any of the other nutty things that Robin's accused me of. Okay, fine. If the arson investigation exonerates you, I'll be the first one in line with the pond. Okay? I couldn't believe it when my parents first got that house. I thought it was, you know, our chance to finally be a normal family. <sighs> there was a plan. Yeah, that was the plan, but life doesn't go according to plan. Mm -hmm. They were presumed dead within days, and there you were, you were in my family. Remember all the breakfasts you would make me? Breakfasts? Yes. What are you talking about? Singular. I only had one item in my repertoire. Oh, pancakes. pancakes. Lucky for me, they were your favorite. They still are. <laughs> Remember how Felicia would transform the entire house for every single holiday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christmas was my favorite. Yeah. I mean, I'd come up the walk, and I'd have to stop and marvel. You know, she just turned that house into something magical. It's a wonderful thing for little girls to grow up around. I'd walk in, there'd be a fire in the fireplace. The whole house would smell like cinnamon. And all my girls. How is it possible that in one monumentally psychotic moment Lisa could go and destroy all of that. She didn't. She didn't. We have those memories for the rest of our lives. She did this. And she's getting crazier all the time, Uncle Max. You have to stop her. Listen. I mean, God knows what she'll do for an encore. Lisa's been brought in for questioning, all right? I'm overseeing the investigation. If there's evidence that proves she started the fire, she's going to jail. killing me is that we lost Georgie again. All that was left of my sister was in her room. Now it's gone. I used to go in there sometimes when I missed her. 
I could still feel her somehow. She was accessible. All I would have to do would be just open Georgie's treasure box and, I don't know, take out the locket my mom gave her for Christmas one year. Georgie used to love holding that locket because she said it made her feel connected to our mom. And I believe that that's true because I felt connected to Georgie when I would hold it. I just can't believe all this is happening. Hey, I'm so glad you're here. I'm totally freaking out. I brought you these. What's going on? I'm gonna have a huge scar. I mean, I I'm terrified of that. Is, that. is that disgusting, like, vain? Of course not. It's completely normal to worry, but Robin, it's just one scar. And it's in an area that's not normally exposed. Yeah, well, except to my husband. I mean, if... If Patrick and I decide to work things out, I mean, what if he's so disgusted and, and turned off, you know, that he can't even look at me? You're a doctor. I shouldn't have to tell you about the wonders of plastic surgery. I mean, I got the scar from my heart transplant removed when I was still in high school. And Patrick loves you, Robin. He's not going to care. No, I will. Well, you're, you're going to work it out. And whatever you're feeling right now, sad, angry, scared, maybe even all three, it's okay. Right here with you. How was it cure for me? Are you sure? What's the plan to make sure Robin pulls through this? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Are you seriously working right now? The world of high fashion will not collapse if you take a little bit of a break. What is going on? Nothing is going on. Okay, I, I got you something. It's no consolation for everything you lost in the fire, but I, you know, thought that maybe... Okay, it's a little, it's, little, it's, it's kind of cheesy. It's a little, no, it's, thank uh, you. I love it. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Uh, but <clears throat> what made you decide to do something so sweet? You, you keep forgetting the fact that I, that I like you a lot. I don't forget that. I see it all the time. It just scares me that you turned out to be such a nice person. I felt much safer writing you off as an egotistical jerk. Well, I'm sure if I put my mind to it, I can come up with something to piss you off. <laughs> I might be too sad to be angry right now. Can't stop thinking about the house. Robin and me and all the memories that literally went up in flames. I guess there could be a silver lining. I mean, maybe when the smoke clears, Patrick and Robin will be able to work things out. Yeah, I, that would be nice. Because no matter what anyone says about Patrick's wild single days, I know that he loves Robin and he needs to be with her. Works both ways. I just don't want Patrick to go the way of our father and burn out because he lost the woman that he loves. Medicine. Something's wrong. I got pretty good at reading you. Is, is, is it Emma? Emma's fine. Well, then it's something about me, right? It's pretty serious. We didn't catch a break. You got an infection. And with your HIV, your immune system is compromised. You're gonna beat this. From a legal standpoint, this could not have turned out better. Law enforcement had you dead to rights. You were going away for a nice long time. Claire's bosses must be furious with Detective Domestico and Claire. 
So if you are just using her, you are causing a lot of damage. Why is it so hard for you to believe that I could have some feelings for Claire? I'm just worried that those feelings aren't equitable, Sonny, that you're just going to stroll away. Just, you know, your life's solid, leaving Claire standing in the wreckage of hers. Since when do you care? Since I realized how far Claire went to protect you. Okay. That's probably the Justice Department. Claire's superiors have almost certainly called internal affairs by now, and you can believe they're going to investigate Claire within an inch of her life. And if they turn up even one illegal activity, Claire will be fired and disbarred, and she might also face criminal charges. I want to speak to her. Sonny, won't you be making things even Diane, worse? Diane, Diane, br bring her in, please. because you're helping me, aren't you? 